Hey Tubers! Welcome back for another adventure. I just wanted to uh, say Happy Thanksgiving before I get started on today's programming. So here we have the starter for a Honda TRX 200 SX. They don't make the uh, China knockoff version. This is an OEM one, but luckily they do make a kit where you can replace the brushes the bushings, the O-rings, and that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a set of brushes in this thing. I have a tendency that the bushings seem to be okay, so I have a tendency to not replace what doesn't need replacing. Typically, <laughs> you end up breaking things, taking apart stuff that hasn't been apart in over 30 years. So um, I just as soon um, replace only what I need to replace. And in this case, we're going to see it'll be the brushes. So, to get this apart, um, I tried turning this out and it it's spinning the whole thing. So, we're going to start out by grabbing it. Kind of ugly looking, but we're going to grab it just like that. Put the ratchet to it and take, it, take the uh, top part apart. They did in nuts but they didn't put this through bolt so I don't want to break that or mess it up so we're gonna to try to work down here in the basement a little bit I don't know how much we're gonna succeed it's a matter of um, it's a little warmer here <laughs> so we're going for it so with the cup bolts off that's off. Now we got to take the bottom piece of it off. I might need a small pair of vice grips. Luckily, once the top was broken loose, this is ready to come apart. Right. I mean, save everything. If you don't need it, fine. If you do need it, you'll have it. Now I just need to put the Phillips to this. Right, we've had this apart before when we discovered what was wrong with this thing. Right, spin these out. I try to do a little bit of work on camera to improve my technique. Right, camera technique it is. That is, so... My experience has been, it seems that when I take apart a starter, almost always the brushes, the brush assembly goes bad. These OEM Honda starters are a little better than the knockoffs because what they have going for them is their, um, yeah, just make sure you, as you take it apart, you put everything aside, all the shims, all that kind of stuff. You'd be surprised. You turn it upside down and you hear something clinking and rolling across the floor. Uh, that's never a good sign. Now, your problem taking it apart from here, when you pull the tail shaft off, you have a tendency to pull the brush assembly. This is the new one you have a tendency to pull the brush assembly away and when you do that you break the wires <laughs> um, and it seems that when you pull the armature out all the guts all the guts kind of fall apart anyway so you could see these wires are broken, and as a matter of fact, if you look closer at this one, you wonder if it wasn't about done anyway, just from heating up. So, what we're going to do is, this is ready to come out, right? You just kind of pull this out, and you have a nice new one to put in, right? Comes in a nice kit. The kits are about 30 bucks. 
The knockoff start starters are about 40 bucks. That's why I tend to use the knockoffs. But once again, it wasn't available, so we got to go with what we have. As you're taking this apart, like pay attention. So we got metal washer. Then we got kind of a brown um, phenolic thing. Then it looks like there's a plastic feed through. And it looks like you just tap. Just want to make sure I'm doing some of this on camera. Tap that right through. Oh. The center phenolic. Okay, um, you guys could see it's off. So we got to put this all back together again, <laughs> such that uh, we have no surprises. This one, what they included with the kit is a little different, right? They have the plastic feed through with the step right on it. So that's handy, right? less stacking, I guess. There you go already in anyway I'm gonna kind of get this sorted out and you have to put this once again I'm trying to show it to you you have to put this and this together and that's going to take me a few minutes to uh, figure out a way to show it to you in a way it makes sense so hang on okay a couple of things first of all I put this back together, got all the shims in the proper place, and I like to use um, liquid graphite on those bearings. So I cleaned them up, use a little liquid graphite. By the way, don't forget to shake this, that way you get the graphite back into suspension. So I put the nose in, and now for the rest of it. So here's the tail assembly, and here's the brushes. So you guys could see how it's all going to go back together again shortly. Right. This shim goes there. And as a matter of fact, we could get a little, a little liquid graphite on that. Not too much because you really don't want the liquid graphite on the uh, brush surface. That's not good. I'm going to clean those brushes up. Then I'm going to see the best way this whole thing is going to go together. So I cleaned the brushes up, wiped them off, and I'm just looking to make sure none of the coils are melted or anything. This is, um, this here is uh, permanent magnets, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Right. Once again, let's try not to drop any of the parts on the floor. So this is the new brush assembly, and all I did was put the bolt through it with the black insulator, right? I just copied what was true with the other one. Okay, so I just fed that through the hole and pushed things into place, right? And now it's just a matter of stacking some of the insulators on the phenolic and making sure this doesn't touch the case, right? They gotta be isolated from each other. The case is ground, and this wants to be hot. Next piece in, it's hard to see, but there's a little rubber O-ring. Then you put that plastic thing on top. Then the brown thing on top of that. Or maybe, let me see how it feels. Maybe it feels better the other way. No. Looks like this. And then this. And then the first bolt on, goes on. A washer. Then the second bolt.
Right, there we are. 10 millimeter action. There you go. And now it's ready for the next bolt will go on and then, uh, or actually, I will use the washer given they gave it to us. There we go. So, there we are. So, now it's a matter of what do we do with the brushes. Okay, so here's the uh, new brush assembly. And you can see this brush is in its holder. And you can see how the wire goes down there. And I had to release tension on the spring to do this. If not, the um, it would push out. And it would be very hard to get the armature into place. It's very hard to get the brush into place also. So it's just easier to get the... Um, kind of release those and put it together that way so I released the spring and now it's just a matter of flipping the brush into place and putting it right on in making sure the wire settles properly and then once again once I wrap this brush it'll push in the bottom that's what holds it up against the armature now I got to do it with these two guys. All right, so I slid the magnets over the armature, easy enough to do. Bushings in place, right? Spacers. Right. Now we gotta do this part of it, get the brushes settled in. The wire goes through here, right, and the brush, this wire goes here, right. The brush wire settles in. I got to get the spring out of there so the tension isn't causing me trouble. I think you guys could see how the wire went into the little indentation. The brush went in. Wire slid down right there. Just got to do the other side, set the pressure springs up, put the cap on, and we're all good. Okay, it looks like it's going to be put together, right? You see the tension springs are pushing down. Looks like everything is settled into place. Um, when you put the back cap on, make sure you do it like the bolts go on this side right which means this is going to be down against the body so you want it to look something um, you want to make sure that your bolts and this you want, you want this upright <laughs> you don't want this down against the body so just make sure you put the tail end piece on and also that uh, you can bolt it up and not, once again, have that all the way on the bottom where you can't put a wire on it. All right, so this is top, so to speak, right? I could bolt the wire on, right? That goes up against the, um, the engine block. So it's just a matter of spinning these down with the Phillips heads. And then we'll test it out and we'll see... How, how I did I've I've really not had a lot of luck with starters hopefully this um this will be my uh, first success here we go and look <laughs> I can turn it it's not making any horrible sounds so hopefully when we put juice to this it'll spin and we'll be happy well, you can see we got it all set up. We have it on the jump pack and There we are.
I think it's fixed. Um, the four brush models are better than the two brush models. The OEM ones have four brushes, so one could successfully do this. I only changed the brushes. I didn't do the bushings. They seemed okay, and I didn't want to start trying to pound those out and get, in, get into trouble. So now I have a spare starter, and nothing can make me happier than that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> I hope the video went okay. You know, it's kind of hard to um, be doing three, four hands all at the same time. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Please remember, feet down, heads up, and get out and enjoy each and every day. Bye now.